Pánime na to, deň 300. Relaxačný tréningový deň 300. Ideme to otočiť. Dneska sú... Dneska sú klikožilty. Sto, devedesiat, osemdesiat, sedemdesiat a šesťdesiat klik stel. Otočíme ich, dobre. Pozrieme ešte toto. Skúsim na ešte jeden kšiel, dajme to rýchlo vytočiť, rýchlo čo svetla. Skontoje zvukovú stopu, či sedí zvuk. Bo zvykne rúbať, poznáme to, zvykne rúbať, veľmi nepríjemné. Pánime na to, kde je prísto. Zvuk ide. Zvuk ide. A skúsme nájsť ešte jednu fúšku. A ideme do prvú. Hoci ako fúšku zhodujem, kde môžem sa ju postaviť a vylízať ju. Žiadna fúčka tam nie. Mladé je prvé aj zo slovenom, jedna, dva. Vyzerá tak páni, že už nezažíme ďalší kšeft. Keď sa dám si zvolať nejaký kšeft, ale... Možno nechytíme ďalší kšev. Ajme, už to bol, bola to jedna fúška. Viacej fúšik nedostaneme. E-time. Možná jako je to, že dáme jednu fůčku, než se zohnali. E-time. Máme fůčku. No 
hodíme prvú prvú stovku, dobre? Môžeme dať prvú stovku prvého izola. Čo ja zdonám? Začať niečo nové! Ай, слушай, надо там. Слушай, слушай, что там надо. Ну, 
Они здравы? Do reklamy potem sobie zbawić. Hello everybody. Hope you're having a fantastic day today. Thank you so much for checking out the video. Today we're going to be talking about a huge surprise that Bethesda is giving us and this is absolutely awesome. I'm extremely happy about it. Let's get into it here. Okay, so I was running West Tech this morning. I was getting the last little bit of double XP that I could get. And then I went to a train station and I noticed it was double script and double XP was still on. So I'm like, oh, okay, well, let's hop on Twitter and see if anything's posted. And I came across this. Surprise, celebrate at Fallout Prime's Emmy wins with double XP, Caps of Plenty, Script Surplus, and Gold Rush is or sorry, Gold Rush in Fallout 76 until September 19th. So for the next three days, we have double XP, Caps of Plenty, Script Surplus, and Gold Rush. Oh my God, Bethesda, Fallout, thank you so much. I'm gonna be able to get a lot closer to 10,000 for me and like Caps of Plenty, Script Surplus, and the Gold Rush as well, amazing. And yeah, I did kind of see some stuff, you know, on Facebook or somewhere or Reels or something, I don't know, about, you know, them going to the Emmys or whatever. I guess that's what it was. I don't really watch too much, you know, mainstream TV. Um, I mostly just live on YouTube or um, even just watch old movies or I'm playing video games most of the time. But yeah, I kind of knew that they were doing that. But yeah, I'm glad to hear that the show won some Emmys or whatever. And yeah, very good to hear. Obviously the show was amazing. I thought it was anyway. Can't wait for the second um, season, of course. And yeah, thankfully they won because we got a you know, bunch of extra cool stuff here on uh, Fallout 76. And again, I can confirm, um, I was you know, looking at uh, the, um, the, what's it called? The stat screen on your Pip-Boy there. Double XP was still going the last time I checked at 12.05 p.m., which is usually not normal, and I noticed double script. I was kind of hoping that they actually just up the script to a thousand. I don't see the harm in it now, considering the legendary system is the way it is, but yeah, definitely a cool thing. I thought I would do a quick little video, you know, going over this stuff in case you didn't know or you're not on Twitter or just to even, you know, bring you the surprise myself. I'm very happy to tell you guys this. Again, you know, let me know in the comments, you know, what you're happy about. Maybe it's not double XP. Like I said, you know, I'm going to be able to get a little bit closer to 10,000 myself. Let me know in the comments what you're happy about. Maybe you're able to get the gold bullion now to get that Secret Service armor done or even, uh, you know, a T-65 or you just need a bunch of extra caps. This is absolutely amazing. Very happy to bring you guys this news. Let me know in the comments what you think. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Have a pleasant evening. Budem môcť sa pokopiť veľa tých zbáň. No, neviem dať 80. Lord Bind. Oh, this is what it's all about.
A teraz je to jedno, teraz odsypam, teraz zoberiem hoci nejakú fľučku, je možno, mal som zoberať ten load bunny. Máme svompa. Svompa čistý pick-up. Takže tu idem spravoť iba dve svoje. Skúsim nás jednu fúčku, poznáme to. A potom ideme dať 70. Máme to bailing skill, bude niekto bailing skill? Nikto. Nikto nechce bailing skill.
Nič viac je to viac je to. Proč je to viac je to. Kurvené kokoty, skúšte. Každé video 150 reklám. Prečo nefunguje blokovanie reklám? No nebaví. Stále tá istá reklama dokola a každé video skôr na kokotina. Kusím to púšťa reklamy. Žiadny adblock nefunguje. Čo je to za kokotinu už? Čo je to za sračku? Aj dnes hráva? Jasné. Jasné, že hráme. So super rýchlým internetom od UBC všetko hrá. A u nás bez obmedzení. Získajte teraz k objednávke navyše aj 50 eurovú nákupnú poukážku. Viac na ubc.sk Hello everybody, hope you're having a fantastic day today. Thank you so much for checking out my video. Today I'm going to be doing a quick video just going over the best places to launch a nuke. I feel like not everyone, I feel most people are, but not everyone is 100% sure where to launch a nuke. I'm seeing people just missing their mark and it's unfortunate because I'm sure if you're just miss missing your mark, then you know, I'm sure the silo run wasn't easy, but let's get into this. Okay, so this is just a couple of pictures of what I've seen lately. Like, you can see the spot right here just missed Monaga. Now, you will not, you know, spawn the Wendigo Colossus or the Colossal Problem event. And the same thing here. You can see it is still over it, like by half of it. That will not work. This will work with the Fissure Site Prime, but this will not work with Monaga that you're seeing right here. You have to have it totally covered. So I just wanted to go over this, and we're going to go over the best places that I think to launch a nuke. 
And like I said, you know, um, I will link some videos on how to launch a nuke if you don't know how to as well. And yeah, let's get into it here. Okay, so if you want to do a colossal problem and fight Earl Williams, then you want to nuke Monaga, not beside it like here. You've got to be right over top of it. So you can see here I'm at the nuke launch menu and I'm right over Monaga Mine. But there is a little bit of a trick with Monaga Mine. Now what I do is, is I nuke the Overlook. Now this is fine to nuke as well because Monaga Mine itself is still covered by the nuke. That's all you have to make sure is that the spot is covered by the nuke. But I recommend nuking right here because for people that don't use power armor like myself, we can get out of the blast zone a lot quicker once we're leaving the mine. So yeah, hit that like button if you want people to make it so we can get out of the blast zone a little bit quicker. Okay, so here's Fissure Site Prime, which I'm sure most people know, and you can nuke it like you see here in the picture. You almost, I've seen people not even, you know, hit Fissure Site Prime and it still spawns um, the, uh, the queen of it. So I just wanted to say too that, you know, this is where I usually try to put it myself. Um, I try to go on the lower end and I try to get the glade covered as well. That way there can be a Wendigo Colossus that can spawn there. And the reason you go low is because this way everyone can fight the queen at drop site V9 without being in the blast zone. So people that don't have power armors, it'll make it extremely convenient for us. So just wanted to show that. Now, if you want to fight the Ultrasite Titan, you have to hit the abandoned mine shaft too, like I'm showing here. You cannot have it covered a little bit. You have to have the whole thing covered. You do not want to nuke Nuka World on tour. You want to nuke the abandoned mine shaft, even though the event takes place at Nuka World over there. And I know this can be confusing. There's three different abandoned mine shafts. You can see how I'm just showing you here. If you have it covered a little bit, this will not work. I have tried it, I've seen others do it, and it just doesn't work. For some reason, it seems to work with the queen. I don't know why, but when it comes to the Colossal Problem and the Ultrasite Titan, which is seismic activity, it seems like you have to have it fully covered by, by the blast zone. And I just want to show here too, you can actually cover Abandoned Mineshaft 2 and Nuka World if you want to get a bunch of stabilization materials. It's a really good way to get it, not flux per se, but high radiation fluids, glowing mass, and hardened mass. You will get at least 20 of each if you do this, I assure you, um, even if you're in a, in a public, or sorry, in a private lobby. Um, another amazing spot, an OG spot that I want to mention too, to nuke is the White Springs North Entrance. Now you don't get some amazing event happening when you do nuke White Springs, but it is a great place to get fluorescent flux and stabilization materials. So if you're trying to stabilize fl uh, fluorescent flux, this is the best place to nuke because you get everything that you need in one nuke rather than nuking for materials and then nuking for flux. This way you can just get it all. And there's a lot of glowing ghouls, you know, that you can use to rank up if you really want. And the fact that there's just a lot of them, so it gives you so much materials and you can just keep farming it, which is amazing. Okay, so this is kind of like a different spot, maybe even a bit of a secret. I don't think a lot of people know about this. I have made a video on it, I'll link it as well. But if you nuke right where I just showed, which we call the middle of the map, the interiors will basically be nuked. So places like the boroughs or the Capitol building, you will get glowing ghouls inside like I am here, and you will get high radiation fluids, glowing mass, and hardened mass, which I'm going to show as well. So, and I just want to say too that this does seem to be fixed in the private test servers, so this could be patched very soon, this uh, center of the map nuke, so you might want to get out there and try it now while you can, because I have a feeling in the next patch um, it could be fixed. So take advantage of this while you can, and I will link another video in the description explaining how to get lots of these materials from nuking the Titan and Nuka World as I was showing earlier. So I will nuke those videos, or sorry, nuke, I will link those videos in the description if you're interested in that. And yeah, you can see I'm getting high radiation fluids here, which is really nice. And like I said, the Capitol building is another great place to
Nuke, or sorry, Nuke, that lots of Okinawa you seem to be fixed in the private test search and fluidically be Nuke. But if you Nuke read right a bit of a secret, I don't think a lot of people know about this. I have made a video on it, I'll link it as well. But if you Nuke right where I just showed, which we call the middle of the map, the interiors will basically be nuked. So places like the boroughs or the capitol building, you will get glowing ghouls inside, like a video on it, all confirming it, which is amazing. Okay, so this is kind of like a different spot, maybe even a bit of a secret. I don't think a lot of people know about this. I have made a video on it, I'll link it as well. But if you nuke right where I just showed, which we call the middle of the map, the interiors will basically be nuked. So places like the boroughs or the capitol building, you will get glowing ghouls inside like I am here, and you will get high radiation fluids glowing. Relaxačný tréningový deň číslo 300 je za nami. Bol 16.9.2024, skončili sme 19.58, segmentem mal 30 minút. A 30 sekúnd to skúsme dať. Pondelok je za nami. Pondelok je za nami. 